welcome to the Racing at Spa Demo Day at the Simeon Automotive Museum in Philadelphia. This demo day honors the cars that raced at the spa Frankerschamp circuit in Belgium during the 1950s and 1960s. While the Spa circuit has changed significantly since then in the interest of safety, it is still known as one of the greatest circuits in the world. The museum cars featured were the Talbot Lago T26 Grand Sport Coupe, the Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe, the Aston Martin DBR1, and the Ferrari 250 GTO. The Talbot Lago T26 Grand Sport Coupe was a slightly more street-focused variant of the Talbot Lago T26, but still with racing components. It is perhaps comparable to a Shelby GT350 of today. It features a 4.5-liter inline six-cylinder engine making 190 horsepower. This particular car had pole position at the 1953 Spa 24 Hours, but unfortunately did not finish the race due to a broken rear spring according to the museum website. This car is one of the most recent additions to the museum, having been won at the 2014 Quail Auction for $1,485,000 including premium. Not only was this car raced at Spa, it raced in the Liege to Rome to Liege Rally. This was one of its first Demo Day appearances. The Mercedes 300 SL is known to many as the first supercar. It has a 3 liter inline 6 engine. Max Hoffman, the US Mercedes importer, is largely responsible for the 300 SL road car and its success. 1100 of 1400 Gull Wings were brought to the United States. Having been purchased by Dr. Simeon's father, this is certainly one of the most important cars in the Simeon Museum's story. Getting into and out of a 300 SL Gull Wing is notoriously difficult. While the 300 SL is more of a GT car, the next car is very far from that. The Aston Martin DBR1 is an all-out sports car. A DBR1 was the overall winner of the Belgian Royal Automobile Club Grand Prix at Spa in 1957. A DBR1 driven by Carol Shelby and Roy Salvadori was the overall winner of the 1959 24 Hours of Le Mans, with another DBR1 finishing second. The DBR1 has a 3-liter inline 6-cylinder engine making 254 horsepower. This particular car, DBR1-3, won the 1958 1000km of the Nürburgring, driven by Sterling Moss and Jack Brabham. It has to be one of the most beautiful cars ever, especially viewed from the side. Probably the museum's most popular and famous car, chassis CSX2287, was the first Cobra Daytona built. It was also the only one built in the US. The Cobra Daytona was a very successful race car, with numerous GT class wins throughout the 1964 and 1965 seasons. It took the World Sports Car Championship title from Ferrari in 1965. This particular car set 25 land speed records at the Bonneville Salt Flats. In the past few years, it was the first car to be on the National Historic Vehicle Register of the United States and it was voted by the public in 2014 as the International Historic Motoring Car of the Year. It was the first American car to be nominated for the award and the first winner. Last, a car that really needs no introduction, the Ferrari 250 GTO. It is the current record holder for the most valuable car in the world at $52 million. It has a 3 liter V12 making about 300 horsepower. This car, chassis 3387, the second 250 GTO built, has had a lot of racing success. It came second overall and first in class at the 1962 Sebring 12 Hours. It came in sixth overall and first in class at the 1962 Le Mans 24 Hours. This GTO was on loan to the Simeon Museum from a DC area collector. It is currently for sale with an astonishing asking price of 45 million pounds or about 56 million dollars. The timeless beauty and the racing history of 250 GTOs make it easy to understand why they are the most valuable cars in the world. Oh, and the sound, as you will soon hear. The 250 GTO has easily been one of my top 5 favorite cars ever years before it set auction records. If this car is indeed sold for $56 million, and if it has exactly 300 horsepower, 
that would be an average of $187,000 per horsepower. Now, enjoy the sights and sounds of these incredibly rare and successful race and sports cars as they are driven by Dr. Simeon and curator Kevin Kelly. <laughs>
visited the Simeon Museum or haven't visited in a while, I always highly recommend you visit. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from the Simeon Automotive Museum in Philadelphia. Thank you for watching.